What's up YouTube? Uh, I'm here with another video. Uh, just an update on all my tanks. I'm very sorry I haven't gotten around to doing an, another video you know, for about a month and a half or two months almost because of school and stuff. So here we are. I'm just doing an update now on all my tanks really. So here is my 180 gallon 6 foot tank. Um, the black female angelfish died sadly. She was actually really old which I didn't know and she just turned over, which was really a shame. The um, black ruby barbs have gone into mating season, it seems, and there's three of them have turned really dark like that, which looks awesome, and then they're courting the females. Uh, the Congo tetras I got from the auction, which I'm not sure if I told you about, they've grown a lot, and they're starting to color up a little bit. Pakistani lurch is growing well, as always. I got a breeding pair of pearl grommets from the auction, too, which... I'm not actually trying to breed, but they just look nice, and it's hard to find them uh, that size. I got them 11 bucks for the two of them, for adults, pearl grommies, so it was amazing. Um, this is one of my DIY, sorry, there's a lot of glare. Uh, this is one of my DIY bristlenose caves. Anyway, whole sink is going well. Uh, my DIY filter, which you'll notice is gone now, uh, the pump actually broke, so... To replace that, I, didn't, I just wanted to get something reliable. I didn't want to have to keep screwing around with tons of different things. I got a Aqualon Nautilus 20, 2700 UVC. So I know a lot of you are going to say, Oh, why didn't you do DIY? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was going to, but just, you know, I wanted something reliable. So anyway, it's a beast filter. It's huge. 2700 liters now. The, the pipe is at least an inch and a half thick. Lots huge jet spray bar at the back here. Can't, probably can't see very well. The spray bar is about two and a half to three feet long, which is huge, and it's all jet going out really quickly. Anyway, there's my 180. Over here is my three foot, which is a Bristol is bringing tank. I know it's a bit yellow at the moment. I the ball broke, so I had to get one of my spare tubes from one of my lizard setups, uh, which is a UVA, UVB, which doesn't do anything wrong with to the fish, but it's all I had, and I can't really afford another one, so they're fine with it, kind of gives the, it makes it a little bit more like the Amazon for the bristle nose, because uh, it's kind of, you know, murky a little bit, uh, my Cremensis, breeding pair of Cremensis, which I got from the auction as well, it's the male, female, it's just, and, um, they've actually bred, which is really great, so she, they've got eggs in there, uh, it's the first time. I've got a Lake Akuum rainbow fish, which are from Australia. I am. Uh, There's quite a few of them. They look quite nice, the males with the colour up. Anubius is growing well on the ends of the UVA light, surprisingly. I've got a male being along things, trying to grow them up. It's going to take a while, though. Uh, sold my big male, which you probably would have seen, the one that lived in there. And uh, my female is quite old actually now. She's I think she's gonna die soon. She's about five years old. I keep seeing her flipped over, but still breathing. So yeah, she's in the back. Yeah, I don't think she's got long left. Anyway, so this tank is going to be turned into an uh, L144 long, not long fin, just an L144 breeding tank. Uh, so those are albino blue eye bristlenose, which are amazing. So I'm gonna have a breeding pair of them in here. Uh, as well as the Carensis. They should be okay together. If not, then I'll move the Carensis. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here's my 55 gallon. Going well. Going well. Um, yeah, it's a bit boring. There's not many fish in here. My female there. She blends in perfect color with the gravel. The blue rams are amazing. I got them from the auction too. Five for thirty dollars was an awesome deal. But that's my best male. He's colouring up really nicely. I'm hoping he'll breed. With that's a tiny female, but uh, anyway, I've got that section over there. The plant kind of died. I don't know why it just melted away. I'm kind of pissed off about that. There's one. Climb which is the back. They're actually going to be moved to the big tank, the six foot width, uh, so that the other climb which in there isn't alone. Because they're meant to be in schools. But uh, his mates died of uh, a hole in the head and white spot, which is a shame. 
Uh, not much breeding going on here. I'm trying to get the long pins to breed again, but they haven't for about a month and a half. Amazon sword's growing well. I cut it right down, and it's grown back very well. It used to be very tall, though, but it was all melting away like this leaf has. So I just cut all the melted ones off, cut it right back, and it's grown very well. And over here, I'm really not proud of this tank. It's... probably can't even see it because the light's broken. Is my two-foot plant dirty tank, which will not be after today because it is absolutely disgusting. So I'm just transforming that into a little aquascape with a couple of rams and some long fin albino bristle nose because it's you can't even see anything that's so muddy and disgusting at the moment and there's so much tannins in the water even if the light's on it's very murky anyway so just updated all my tanks i thought i think i know you guys here talk about fish but may as well show you my uh beard and dragon babies i had 14 which all hatched from my Adults, that tank over there behind the birdcage. Uh, I've sold quite a few, I've got six left. Is that absolutely adorable? No, it's got nothing to do with fish, but I thought you just might want to see anyway. Anyway, there's an update on all my tanks. I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to you in a while. I, while I will be doing lots of care videos and stuff like that soon. Oh, there's the red tail shark. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.